In my experience, the difference between people who are successful at learning languages and people who are not is this. People who often give up approach learning languages with a couple of specific questions. They often want to know, how long exactly is this going to take me to do? And how much of my time am I going to have to give every day in order to be able to do this? The reason why is because they don't really like learning languages. They like speaking languages and they like the idea of the benefits of it, but they're not necessarily enjoying the process of learning them. In order to make your language learning a lot more fun, I think you should focus on the things that interest you the most. If you want to learn the language to learn more about the culture, then you should be watching films, you should be reading and enjoying those things that are available. It's also important to reward yourself for um, the learning that you're doing. So make sure that you give yourselves little treats and maybe even plan a holiday or a trip to uh, the country where they speak the language so you can actually see how much progress you've made since you started learning and how far you could still come in a similar amount of time. The other really important thing is to set realistic goals when thinking about learning a language. That will make keep you much more motivated uh, through the language learning process and make sure that you stick to the commitment that you make. So an example of an unrealistic goal is I want to be able to speak German fluently. That's very, very difficult to achieve and it's going to take you a long time. But an example of a realistic goal would be something like, I would like to have a 10 minute conversation with a native speaker about something very simple and easy. Or for example, I want to be able to watch the news and understand 50% of it. That's something that is very clear and that you can work towards in order to make sure that you keep seeing how much progress you're making. Share your language learning tips and experiences by leaving a comment below and make sure you check out the other videos in this series.